Quick word, you say? Nothing of the sort. I was simply thinking about something. Rebuilding a falcon's nest, in fact. The damage from the calamity, and even the freezing winds it brought with it, was tremendous. Even the rats fled, driven out by the cold. We can move forward with the rebuilding of the fortifications. I'm truly delighted and proud to be a the part of it. The heretics' various supporters are obviously still a major concern. Supplies missing, and stolen from within this very fortress right beneath our noses. We are stolen goods. Please recover them for us. I zoned out for a second, what'd you say? I mean, I remember hearing about something about supplies, but oh, I guess it is about supplies. Oh, hi. Ow! You're not supposed to be able to do that to a player character. Only I can stun people. That's preposterous. I'm, only I'm supposed to be able to low blow things, not the other way around. Have you found the stolen supplies? Yeah, I did. I guess this is what you were looking for. Yes, yes, this is the very crate that was stolen. This looks very much like the heretic falcon's nest before the calamity. This sort of thing like is of this. no use. Do you use think to you could here. do me a favor and take it to him? Okay. Hmm. Did you want something? Found this. Someone said you might want it. Ah, you used to see these all the time before the calamity. Back before Falcon's Nest ended up looking like this. This brings back some this brings back some memories. You say it was left with supplies stolen by the heretics. Well, thank you in any case. Oh, you have a follow-up quest. Nah, pass. There are some wolves attacking. I must help out where I can. A few moments later. <sighs> All in a day's work at protecting Falcon's Nest. Let's move on to a different area. I've just heard the most amazing news, Koopo. Rare and fragrant flowers called horn blooms are blooming near the House of Letters. If you could go pick three for me, my gratitude would be yours. Hmm, seems simple enough. Ooh, I can get a new hat. Oh, and there's a cutscene with this one. You were there, Koopo. Yes, you're exactly the type of brawny adventurer I had in, I had in mind. You have just the perfect build for what I require. You call me short. You see, the Skylards in service of Nidhogg, while always a bit of a nuisance, have become increasingly belligerent recently. Understandably, us Moogles are more than a little frightened of our marvelous mog home. For a marvelous mog home, Koopo. That's why I've decided to take up arms in defense of our home by joining the Palm Guard. With me protecting them, Moogle kind will no longer have to cower in fear. There's just one obstacle holding me back. I haven't actually joined the Palm Guard yet. To do so, I must prove that I'm strong enough to be a, cap a capable defender, and I need you to help me. How about we go about proving my strength, you ask? Well, sh we shall scour the churning mists in search of troubled Moogles, Koopo. I'll lend my sword to these poor Moogles in their darkest hour, and word of my bravery will spare it far and wide. Come! Adventurer, let our search begin. I still think he called me short. Be careful about your legs, Koopo, because they might just get Koopoed off with an axe. Now here's a Moogle in need of my help. See his pom-pom? That's how I know, Koopo. Uh, okay. I I don't get it. It has to be somewhere around here. Is something I missed, Koopo? Why, I had recently acquired a massively painted pebble and wished to gaze upon it once more, but when I went to look for it, it was nowhere to be found, Koopo. Worry not, my troubled friend. I'll find this pebble for you, and soon you'll once again be enraptured by the pebble's enchanting brushstrokes. You're too kind, Koopo. I enjoyed an afternoon nap just northeast of Mongholm not too long ago. If my pebble's anywhere, it's likely to be there. Then to the northeast of Mongholm we shall go, adventurer. That means you two. Wait, what? We just need to find a pebble? Okay. Oh, God. Well, I guess I am helping you. He hasn't even noticed this thing is attacking him. No, you don't. That was close. That monster was lucky. I was so distracted by my search, or else I would have been buried. I would have buried my blade in its shiny, scaly hide, Koopo. Thanks to you, however, I was able to retrieve the pebble without injury. Hurry, adventurer! We must make haste to deliver it to its worried owner. Aren't you supposed to be trying to join the Mog Guard? Why am I doing all the combat for you? Ah, here's a horn bloom. Sometimes it's good not to have to do combat for a quest. Aha! The power of player character reach! 
Hey, I found your blooms. There you go. You really had the eyes of a florist. As I'm sure you've gathered, these are far more precious than the other flowers you see dotting the landscape, as they only bloom so lovely once a year. I'll put my very best into making sure they stay healthy and robust. Don't tell anyone, but I'll be using these for my secret garden. When it's finally complete, you'll be the first one I invite, Kupo. Aw, how thoughtful. And I'll never talk to you again. Oh, thank you so much for finding my pebbled pr prized pebble. It would have been a terrible waste of Kupo nuts had I lost it. Such a trifling task is nothing for the likes of the future Palm Guard member. Now take care not to drop the pebble again, lest I'm too far away to rush to your aid. Oh, it turns out helping Moogles isn't so hard after all. At this rate, Malcolm would be worry-free in a matter of days, all thanks to us. Hmm, maybe we, sh we should spread our wings and bring help to the Moogles living outside Malcolm. Yes, wherever a Moogle fit flits in frustration, Mo Moglio will be there to help lend a helping paw, Kupo. You know what? This might actually be better off for me in the long run. I don't need a new hat. Hell, I don't need a hat at all. Maybe I should get an eye patch. Or those things are all the rage. A recent spate of dragon attacks have been at keeping us on guard. One can never be too careful, but no Moogle can keep watch forever. My ship replacements were due to arrive some time ago, but that there remains no sign of them. Could you see if they've run into any trouble along the road? Why, yes. And I'm not only, and I'm not saying this just because I want to get to level 55. Oh, looks like you're going to be the uh, gear giver for the quests. Ah, just look at this Moogle adventure. Have you ever seen such a stressed expression? I... Uh, not for nothing, but you, all you Moogles kind of have the same expression unless there's something I am severely missing. I'm done for. There's no coming back from this, Koopo. Pray tell us if you're distressed, distress, Koopo. We are here to serve. Well, a friend of mine lent me one of his favorite knives, so one so sharp it could cut right through a Koopo nut. He made it by whittling down a spine pulled from one of those wild wadgets. And you see, I've been on a bit of a binge the last few days, fluttering to and fro, indulging in libations wherever the opportunity presented itself. And when all was said and done, the wine was gone and the knife was nowhere to be found, Kupo. I don't recall why I brought it here in the first place. My only choice is to make my new friend, my friend a new knife, Kupo. But have you ever seen a wadget? One does not simply pull a spine from one. Hmm, the situation sounds terribly troubling, but worry not, for you won't have to risk your life standing against the wadget because he'll do that for, I mean, will do that for you. Be patient, troubled friend. Soon you will have a watch its spine within your grasp. Come, adventurer. The watches can be found to the northeast of here. Hurry before I let you slay every last one. What the hell did I get myself into? And through the power of flying, I can get up here easily. Ooh, you have boots. Too bad I'm just going to take the silver. The flowers in this area are precious. Mookos come all the way from Mogholm to catch a sniff. That's why we can't have monsters bring, barging in and trampling all over them, Kupo. The amphitheaters are the worst a lot. Someone needs to do something about them. If you slay three of them, it might keep the beasts away for a while. Hey, I actually... He's actually act, acting me... Asking me to directly kill them instead of having me kill them while he takes credit. Twelve seconds later. There's, uh, the last dragon. This isn't good. A nasty gang of dragons attacked my companions and me. The sca scattering us every which way. The three of them should be around here. Have you found any trace of them, Koopo? Oh, I'll find your friends. But first, I gotta talk to you. I can see the watches from here, but if I get any closer, they'll snuff me out in a second. What to do? Ah, oh, brilliant! See, all you have to do is create a distraction by attacking a wadget, whilst I fly in and pull the spine from the beast undetected. What a simply sophisticated strategy, Koopo. I'll be waiting here, here for you to start your attack. Fear not, I won't be far behind. Are you saying that because you don't want to be the first to strike him and take the injuries directly? This might be the only case where I say good, because I want to. Wow, he was so silent, I'd, even I didn't notice that he came in and did it. You killed it! Too fast! I couldn't grip the watch's slippery spine in time. But we mustn't give up, Koopo. My paws are ready. Fight for another one and I'll get it this time. I, are you sure you're not getting some sick enjoyment out about seeing me take pits? Are you 
Are you sure you're not a masochist? Fine, I'll kill this one a little slower. There we go. Boy, it's kind of hard to hold back when you're doing so much damage to him at once. There we go, I held back. Really? I'll just use auto attacks. That way you have all the time in the world. Or maybe you can just pull it from their corpse. What's the difference between a live and a dead Wajib for getting a spine? That did it. Never has a Moogle been so silently stealthy. Yeah, I couldn't even tell you were there. Couldn't even tell where your model was at all. Are you sure you even pulled one out? Didn't have one handy already? I wager not even you saw me pull the spine from that wretched beast, Koopo. Well, I'll bring this right back to Asa. I swear I want to rip his palm off and shove it down his throat. I mean, what? We barely escaped by the fluff of our pom-poms, Koopo. Well, time to go back to the others. Oh, there's one of them. Are the dragons still out there? No? Then I guess I'll return. Moogle kind is safe with me around, I guess. Where's the bloody road? Ah, many thanks for pointing me in the right direction, Koopo. Oh, it says amphitheaters, not amphitheaters. Wow, I can't read. Anyway, let's kill these things. Uh, killing enemies one fell cleave at a time. Alright, where's the next target? Oh, I'm part of a fate? Oh, I gotta take out a misbehaving Moogle, I guess. Next time, pick on a, pick a fight with a friggin' ground squirrel. All right, let me go on in and finish this one off. There we go. Now I've got a bunch of quests to turn in, and with this, I will be only a sliver co closer to leveling up. That'll teach those worms come into our gardens, Koopo. You have my thanks, adventure. It seems the roar of the dread worms sent the Skylords into a fury, but that doesn't mean they can't just stamp around wherever they want. They really need to learn to respect for our hard work. Yeah, here, here. So, were you actually able to get the spine, Koopo? I don't... I don't know. Does this answer your question, Koopo? It's... You actually did it! In fact, the spine is even sharper than the one before! They'll be able to make my... I'll be able to make my friend an even nicer knife than the one he lent me. He'll surely forgive me now, Koopo! And with that, another Moogle's worries are washed away, but there's still much work to be done, and many more Moogles with messages clean. It's up to us to find them. And off he goes. Without any little hint about where to find him. Ah, now we can finally breathe without dragons bothering us. Might be time to take to break out the wine coupo. Asa is a domain of Horace Felgar, and we can't permit it and we can't permit Nidhogg's menacing minions to encroach upon it. May you aid us again in our time of need. Yeah, hell yeah. Oh, uh, you have... Okay, the level 55 one. Never mind then. Can't do it. And the last one in this little round of quests. Back to the mazed Moogle. We would have never found our way if it wasn't for you, Adventure. We won't let any of those vile beasts take us by surprise on the way back. Another happy customer. All thanks to me and my bloodlust. With an axe.